Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back. Uh, last time we left off, we just upgraded our app from 1.5 to 1.6 and replaced Webpack with ES Build. Thank God. Now, the next step is uh, what you may have noticed is that with our current app, we are actually unable to, um, you know, use top bar, right? So I just commented out and said, okay, we'll talk about this later. Well, I did some searching and did some playing around. And actually, it's super straightforward in order to get kind of NPM packages working, at least with JavaScript stuff. Um, I'm going to planning to do another video actually doing Tailwind with Alpine setup. Um, the work's already been done by uh, Jose Valim, uh, so definitely credit to him and a few other people. And so what I want to do is actually get that going, and I'll show you how to do that in the video. But for right now, I just want to show you simply how can we get... Uh, back top bar, right? So if we go to here, this is our application. If I refresh this, you'll see that there's no blue line at the top. So there's no top bar currently. So how can we fix that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over to my code, kill the server. If you go to the assets folder, we actually have to rely back onto npm just to install some packages. So we say npm install top bar and make sure we do a dash dash save. So this is going to create our package file and package.lock. So our package dash lock with our, our file over here. And uh, we also have the node modules over here. Now the cool thing is that there's basically nothing else we need to do other than just go back over here and here's our import from top bar. Um, I'm going to take this one off too. And let's go ahead and let's add back in these parts. And that's basically it. I mean, just npm install dash s save just to make sure we have it saved into our file. And now if we try to run our server, yes, we'll be able to see from the node, node uh, build file, I suppose, where to find the, the package. And now if we go back to our thing up here, if I refresh, you'll see top bar is working again. So you see it's pretty straightforward just to get some simple node packages running, how Alpine and um, at least how uh, Tailwind CSS is gonna work with purging and all that stuff. It's a little bit more complicated. I'm still taking a look at that. And I plan to probably do that maybe in the next video. Let's see how it goes. But in any case, I'm Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, bye.